Hi friends, in this video I am going to give you 12 tips how to become rich. Rich gets richer and poor gets poorer. You might be experiencing this. In, in your society, you can see a rich person keeps on getting more money and the poor gets not getting much. So what is the reason and how can you become rich and stay rich? Before giving those 12 points, I want to just recommend you these 6 books which will help you, which will change your financial status completely. Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, really excellent book, Ta talks about the basics. The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas J. J. Stanley, really a good book, it talks about the behaviors of millionaires and the, their habits. 21 Secrets of Self-Made Millionaires. It's really good book by Brian Tracy. He talks 21 secrets in this book and this is also an awesome book. Total Money Makeover by Dave Romsey. He talks about how to close the debt as soon as is possible. Then Baby Steps, Emergency Fund and there are a lot of top topics he covers. Start Over, Finish Rich, David Back. An excellent book by David Back. The Richest Man in Babylon, it's very old book by George, George Classen. It's very old book but it has so much wisdom. So I would suggest whenever you get free time, go to your nearby store and try to get these books and start reading. Surely you will see a change in your financial status. Let's see the 12 points that I wish to share with you. The first foremost principle is Spend less than you earn. If you are earning $5,000 per month, you have to spend less than you earn. This is the first and very important point you, ne you need to remember. Stick to this rule. Long time perspective. Think always long time perspective. What, wha what will be your life like after 20 years, 40 years? Delay gratification. Practice frugal living. Whenever you get a desire to buy something, to spend something or delay the gratification, Think whether you really need it or not. Think like whether it's a need, desire, luxury or something. Something like that. So practice frugal living. Frugal living means spend only on the need. If there is a need, spend on that and wisely spend. Self-discipline, Parkinson's law. You should have a good self-discipline. You should have a good self-discipline. And Parkinson's law means whenever there is a hike in your pay, you sh your lifestyle should not be changing. The sense, uh, when say for example you are earning three thousand dollars per month, now there is a hike, five hundred dollars extra. So your lifestyle should not increase based on your increment in your pay. So don't apply this Parkinson's law. Have long term and short term goals. Stick to those goals. Differentiate need want desire and luxury whenever you buy item or you're planning to buy an item check whether it's a need want desire or luxury try to build assets always focus on assets assets means that put money in your pocket never ever don't lose money so plan very well even if you don't buy not a problem but don't lose money always keep saying i'm responsible for my financial status i am responsible for my financial status don't blame the government don't blame your company that you're working don't blame your parents don't blame anyone your wife or anyone you say keep res keep saying i'm responsible for my financial status you should do debt you should become debt free first then six months emergency fund you should save then you should invest the extra amount that you're saving every month don't chase money but chase people need if you're living in a society there are a lot of people living along with you then they have a need so if you have a solution to their need, try to provide solution to their need. Do, don't simply chase money. I want $10,000. Don't say like that. You say every day I will solve 10 problems for 100 people. Something like that. Okay. So don't chase money. But create value. Always create value to others. If you want the best, you should give the best to others. So if you take any rich people you can see they always create value to others maybe they have a big supermarket they have a petrol pump or they have a transport system 
anything you any any rich people you take they create value to others okay so you also try to create value to others in that way you can surely become rich hope these 12 points are useful thank you and all the best for your future